Howdy, kids. I am a Vo. And I have arrived with a special hat. <laughs> would you like to sit in on a lesson? It would probably be a great learning experience for you and for the class. Oh. Maybe you could come by in the evening. That class is for the older Gerudo. The daytime class is for the younger students. I don't think they're quite ready to meet a Vo. Mm -hmm. So this is when we usually have the class for younger students. You might not know this, but it's something of a rule in Gerudo Town that young Vi don't speak with Vo. Since this class is for young Vi, I can't let you come in. You're more than welcome to come to the class in the evening. It's just this one that's off limits. <laughs> the guards will have to lock you up if you, caught, you get caught breaking our rules. And no one wants that, right? So what hap- Aww. What happens if I sp Oh. Oh, whoa, look at this camera control, though. Hold up, sorry, I'm, I'm in trouble. I broke a rule. But look at this. That's kind of neat. I... Have I ever seen a game do this? Not really. This is special. Okay. Oh, you again. I told you already that this class is for the younger students only. Oh. If I catch you again, I'm going to call the guards and they'll lock you up straight away. Oh. So, seriously, this class is off limits. But you can come to the class in the evening, okay? Uh, in typical Zelda fashion, I would love to keep breaking the rules, but before I do, I'm going to talk to this, this little tyke. Hi. I'm sorry for bending down like that. I'm not trying not, I'm not actually trying to be creepy. I just thought it would be kind of funny if I showed up in like a mascot head. Oh, hello, Mr. Bo Vo. I'm happy that we can finally talk. I was des definitely real scared of talking to you at first, but I did want to talk, I promise. Aww. It's no use. I can't hear anything they're saying from here. I just wanted to listen in on the Vo and you class and learn a bit. But if I go into the classroom, Mrs. Mrs. Shai will definitely see me and kick me out. Aww. I even thought hiding with the Vo dummies in there would fool her, but my outfit looks different from theirs and they spotted me. Maybe I can find a way to hide in the classroom without being so obvious. Ah, oh, that's okay. Okay, at first I was I was kind of wondering, I was like, wait, but how, like why did the comments tell me to go here if, we, if it's just off limits, but it's not off limits. It's not off limits. So I need to gum, come back when I, okay, that's close enough. I need to come back when I have the Vo get up, like the full Vo get up, which I don't think I can afford now, but I'm guessing by the end of this recording session, I'll have killed a couple more Mulduga and I should be able to. Also, hello everyone. My name is Pal. I don't know why I'm doing a proper intro. I typically don't do that, but I'm doing one this time. Would you like to see something absurd? Look at this. So I was trying to get my costume to speak to the children and appeal to them. And I wanted to be in the mascot head with no shirt on. And obviously they're not cool with that. But one thing I noticed is this. The archaic legwear is not shown, but it clearly has a belt. But it, so if you take off the archaic tunic, it's just like the same thing, but with a belt. <laughs> what is it underneath? Like that's implied, but it looks so similar. It's very weird. I don't know why that's like that. Uh, like I said, I don't know why I'm doing intro, but today I am feeling particularly motivated. I've gotten some guidance from the comments and we're finally getting to the point where I I'm going to start looking at the outskirts of Gerudo. We're, I think we're towards the tail end. Obviously, there's the maze, but I think we're towards the tail end of our tenure here. Maybe? I mean, we've done a lot. We've definitely done a lot. There's a lot more to do compared to Breath of the Wild. And the first thing I want to do... Oh my word, the amount of times I was right next to this thing, and I mist mistook the fire prompt for talk. Let's shoot this. Oh. That's not what I expected. Uh? Hey, Barta, what are you doing? It's way too dangerous to fire that thing off here. Uh? I, I, I just thought that we could fire off a celebratory one cannon salute. Uh, also, uh, the, the Vo did it. Uh. I don't want to hear it, Barta. If that cannon gets fired every time there is something to celebrate, the town will be leveled before long. 
Until I say otherwise, you're forbidden from even even touching that thing. Mm. What? But, but I I need to fire it. <laughs> I didn't mean get her in trouble. Hey. Eh? Uh, no, 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 no. That cannon is is off limits. Uh, I'm being very, very patient. Just waiting for the day when I'm allowed to fire that cannon again. I can almost smell the smoke now. Oh, I'm so excited. Wait, I can't fire it again? What? I was gonna hurt my, skirt my way through the social counter. I'm... What? What? That's... That's sad. Okay, so what I thought was going to happen. What I thought was gonna happen is that one of the balls was gonna be was gonna shoot out of the cannon. I was certain that that was gonna happen. And like, oh, this is where one of them is hidden. It's not. It's it's not. So I have no idea where they are. That's unfortunate. Can I take this? No. I'm so glad you're safe. Mm. I had no idea you were in such. Hmm. <laughs> Well, look who it is. The owner tells me you rescued her from a Molduga. Sarksor, truly. Here's a little something to reward your bravery. What? Okay. Sick. That's awesome. Oh. I still can't believe you took on such a huge mon monster in one. Hylian and Vo are pretty impressive. Ah. It's because of you that I was able to make it back to town, Sarkso. I knew I'd see you again, of course, but I wasn't so sure that you would be here. And even more surprising, not only do or not only do you mean something special to me for saving my life, but you are also special special to Lady Riju. You are really are a one of a kind vo, aren't you? <laughs> I'd like to reward you as well, but my reward is a little involved. So do you mind coming to talk to me when you have some time? Uh, yeah, give me a second. First off, I want to say, this is my favorite Grudo in the game. Look at her design. I just, it, okay, I, I'm taking this, I'm taking this off. Like, I like the idea of walking around with a Bakoblin mask. I think that's funny, but I don't like how I look like someone who, you know, should be on a poster at the post office. I'm not okay with that. So we're gonna, we're gonna look like a decent human being. I will talk to Isha in a moment with her amazing design. But first, I'm gonna walk in here and look at all the things I can't afford. Look at this. It's 2,400 rupees. I can't afford that. Also, I walked to the very first thing that I would have thought was the most interesting had I had a moment to think about it. In Breath of the Wild, this had a guardian defense, ancient defense. I don't remember what it was called. Basically, you took less damage from ancient things and now it has attack up. Uh, Ruby Circlet, Cold Resistance, Heat Resistance, Shock Resistance, no difference, Swim Speed Up, and nothing, which is really... Oh, I guess these have actual defense. There's an... There is an, a defense bump from this, which I almost wonder if I should get it for that reason, but I'm not gonna drop 400 rubies on that. The biggest problem with these, in my opinion, I love how they look. Like, these are... Oh, uh, wait, can I pull up my camera? There we go. I love how these things look. I'd love to wear them. I just don't like... Can I f get this in focus? It's weird that I'm actually asking myself that question in a Zelda game. I love how they look, but they don't... They deny you set bonuses, which really stinks. I don't like that. Maybe they fixed it in this game, but I'd love to wear these things. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to talk to you just because you're here. Let me know if any of the accessories catch your eye. I'm ready and eager to make adjustments to them for you. The fit is so important after all. After all. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Oh. Yep, I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna talk to her right now. I'm gonna do that right now. What? Oh, I thought she said useless. I was like, don't feel useless. Nah. Everyone, including me, has been able to get back to our normal lives. It's all because of you, Sarkso. You know, we all owe you a special, a uh, great debt. And I think that I can begin to repay it by crafting the Arms of the Seven for you. They are a sword and shield passed down by the Gerudo, and they can only be wielded by a chosen individual. <laughs> I'm talking about the Scimitar of the Seven and the Daybreaker, of course. They're crafted using a special technique known only to me, and I have chosen you to carry them. Will you let me 
will you let me make the arms of the seven for you? Ma. That's the spirit. Until then, I just need you to gather some materials for me. Can you do that? Truth be told, I'd like to gather the materials for you myself, but it is the duty of the bearer of the arms to do that. Mm -hmm. And you certainly bear some arms. <clears throat> I need four diamonds, ten pieces of flint, a Gerudo scimitar, and a Gerudo shield. Even the decayed Ger Gerudo scimitar will do the trick. Okay then, once you've gathered all of those materials together, come and talk to me, okay? Pride of the Gerudo, which I won't be able to do for a long time. Son of a gun. Hey. I also wanted to sell my diamond hey. to get armor, but I probably shouldn't now that I need them. And I, I mean, diamonds certainly are rare, which is the strange narrative that is true in the world. Do some research into that if you want to go down a fun rabbit hole on hey. controlled supply. Uh, anyway. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I, I said I'm feeling particularly motivated. I've gotten a quest that I cannot complete. And I've gotten a, a dead end on the ball. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to act on some advice that I got. And go to the west. Because I was told uh, in the comments of literally the episode, the last episode uh, which came out today, the day I'm recording this, which I was strategically waiting. Can I do this? Uh, I was strategi strategically waiting for when that came out. Zone advice is by type. Uh, hydromelons drop? Does that work? I'll be honest, I was never very good at... I was never very good at wrangling these guys. I, I knew there was probably a trick. Yeah, like, I don't... I almost feel like they're not worth the time unless you can land on them, because, like, the amount of times that, I, that I'm taking doing this, I could just be running that way. But I'm gonna do it just because I haven't done it yet. Yoink. There. What? I needed to, like, do an input? Another imp- that's weird, okay. Whatever, whatever, well- oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I didn't have anything equipped, because I unequipped it for flavor reasons. Uh, cool, alright, let's- let's venture forward, let's go this way. I was told that, uh, splash fruit, which is, like, kind of the big thing I was looking for last episode, uh, can be found on the remnants of Sky Islands. It's Kind of predetermined, uh, but it could be like dazzle fruit, uh, shock fruit, or splash fruit, and that there was a piece of said island near here that could possibly contain it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wander around, plus we haven't gone this way anyway, and I, if I'm trying to go around the perimeter of this place, I might as well, you know, start where we started, so we're gonna do that. Okay. Last episode, ooh, giant boomerang. Yes! I can try it. I can try it. I need to drop something for that. Oh, well, useless torch, yeah. I need to try this now. I've been hyping this up. I've been hyped for this since we got recall. What happens? I throw it, it boomerangs, and then I do that. Oh, boy, I'm so excited for that. I can make a wheel of death. I could even... If I had multiple boomerangs, I might be able to juggle. Think of that. That sounds awesome. Okay, okay, okay. Now I gotta fuse this with something. Oh yeah, that, that works. Now does this work? How does how does fuse work with boomerangs? I mean, uh, we've done it before. Does it still fly? It looks like it does. Yeah, not a problem, not a problem, not a problem. Okay. Also, I used up durability from that. Whoopsie, whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, we're on the trail. Read you, could you not? Thank you. We're on the trail of a Sky Island fragment. That is what we care about. Don't really care about fortresses right now. Although, I do care about loot. What's over here? What is this? A repository for... Building things. More. Did I get that? 
Yes. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, I didn't. I did not. I could have sworn. I mean, I went to one end, but I guess I didn't go to this end. And it's useless. Um, you know what? It's not useless. I will drop this. A lot of desperate attack stuff. It makes me wonder if there's going to be any armor that, like, gives me higher defense. If I'm low health, that would be kind of neat. Oh, ooh, ooh, I got a tip. I got a tip. Hold up. Comments told me. Oh, and I actually want to try a couple things. So, uh, I was told in the comments that I should stop thinking about shields like weapons. And I should start thinking about them more like elemental weapons from Breath of the Wild, where you'd equip one of them. That should do it. Okay, drop, and then I can fuse that to my shield. Not working. Uh, snap. Destroy fused material. The idea is, if I have, like, a fire element thing, I don't know exactly what. I don't want to use a ruby on this. I could attach to my shield and use it to stay warm, and because I'm shield bashing, it wouldn't necessarily come off because that doesn't use durability, but it also looks like I don't have anything coded as a fire element that would provide latent heat. Although, that might work. We're gonna try a fire fruit. Uh... That's not working. Okay, well, the idea is there. It just... I don't have the things to do that with. Does that work? That works. Okay, but I do want to try something else. So, if I go to my shields, obviously destroy that. Shields have attack power. And they've always had attack power. Like, if I attach, let's try this with something that I don't care if I lose. Uh, what's something that kind of weak? Yeah, that. I don't care about that. It now has attack power, right? That's the essence of this. That's. Oh, I also had one with that. So. The idea is, my idea is, if this does damage when I shield bash, and I can fuse stuff to it to increase said power, oh hi. Oh, I forgot they could do that. I forgot they could do that. Um, one moment. So the idea is, if I could attach something to my shield, if that works, if shield bashing something with an attack up item on it does that, then could I, in theory, fuse a, um, fuse a Gibdo ribcage to my shield and be dealing Boko Bonkers damage whenever I shield bash? It's worth a shot, right? It sounds like that is how it could work. I am still trying to search this area for the famous ruins of the splash fruit. Also, I guess it would be it would be it would behoove me. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. It would behoove me to keep in light look out for Korok seeds. Oh, hello. Look at you. Easy, Croc Seed. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Distinct smell. Oh, what could that smell be? Oh, man. Could you imagine? I'd be so mad. So, there, there's a little bit of crossplay between, um, or not crossplay, but like carryover progress. Uh, you keep your horses from Breath of the Wild if you played it on the Switch. How mad could you imagine me being if they tracked if you got all the Korok seeds and so I don't get it didn't get a special I wouldn't get a special reward if I had gotten all of them on the Switch version. Oh my word. That would have I, I would have been livid. I would have been so mad if like there actually was a good reward for that, but because I I played it on the Wii U, I didn't get it. Oh, speaking of which. Yeah ha Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh. Bye. Okay, there are wolves over there. I don't care about the wolves. 
What is down here? There was, yeah, there is. There is. Hi. The, the ice. Yeah, it melted. That's what ice does in a desert. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a uh, Hylian. Uh, Vasak, this is the ice house. This is where we store ice, obviously. It's uh, it's all made from smel snow melt from the Gerudo Highlands. I'm kind of surprised to see you here. It isn't really a tourist location. Oh. But you're probably wondering where all the ice is, right? Well, it's gotten hot enough that it all melted. It feels wrong to even call this place an ice house right now. Hmm. Have you heard of the incredibly popular drink the, no in the noble canteen in town makes? Well, it uses ice from here. Or it did. Uh, if I can't get ice delivered to town, there won't be any signature drinks m being made by anyone. I've got to find a way to make ice. Uh, do I have... I have some ice-coated things. This. Aha! Oh! Oh, look at that! Look at that! What a discovery of the century right there! We can make ice platforms! Hey, that's ice, isn't it? I didn't know Hylians could make ice. Maybe I've been in the ice house or up on the mountain for too long. Anyway, if it's okay with you, could I have this ice? What? What are you doing? What? If it's possible to make a hunk of ice that fits nicely in that alcove, it that would be ideal. What? Uh, what? That's an Iraq wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This changes everything. Can I fuse this? I can? Whoa. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, weapons, weapons, weapons. I gotta know. What? What? Okay. What? That's a wind and ice coated? Whoa, whoa. Wait. Wait a second. If I do this, I get ice, and I fuse it to my boomerang, I have an ice and wind coated boomerang. <laughs> that sounds sick. Or shall I say, slick. Okay, let's actually do the quest now with our last piece of this. She said, she asked if I could make a piece that fits in the alcove. I don't know exactly how to do that. Do I melt it? That must be what I do. That's what I do. I've played... I've played Mario Sunshine. I did it. I did it. You can stop being scared now. Hmm, what happened? Wait, ice. Aha. Oh, hey, perfectly sized ice. This will definitely hold up on the trip to town. That's great. Ah. Sark. Hopefully this is something you can make use of. Be sure to grab something to drink at the canteen in town. <laughs> it's cool. Oh. Awesome. Feel free to come back and make more ice, okay? Or I don't have anything to, I can give you as a reward right now, but it wouldn't be f feel right to accept your help when I can't repay you. So give me some time, okay? You could always visit the spa in Gerudo town the mean... Oh, wait, you're a vo, vo, so you aren't allowed inside Gerudo town. Maybe you could relax at Karakara Bazaar instead. da 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 What is in this cove? Nothing's in the cove. That's a really sad. Is there anything in here? No, there's not. Okay, well, that was a quest. And now I must go. My people need me. 